News of the Battle of Yorktown is not going to reach England until the spring of 1782. And when that happens, Parliament says, okay, I've ha we've had enough, uh, and we're, we need to get this war done with. It's taking too long, it's too expensive, and it's actually one of the, re uh, one of the reasons why the Americans win this war, is because of the fact that it, it, they prolong it so long so much, and they call, and they and they rack up the bill for the British so much, they basically say, okay, this is not worth it anymore. And so Parliament gets tired of the war, and it's going to send basically shockwaves through the British government. Lord North, he's been he's been Prime Minister since at least the 1773, uh, with the Tea Act, if you remember that. Um, he is going to resign, and it's going to be up to his successors, first Lord Rockingham, uh, and then Lord Shelby that are going to uh, negotiate the peace. The reason why there's two successors is that, Shel that Rockingham uh, is going to unexpectedly die, and it's going to be Shelburne that's going to uh, negotiate the, uh, the peace between the United States and Britain. The American negotiators, they're going to... Um, they're going to be. It's going to include men like Benjamin Franklin, John Jay, and John Adams, and they're going to. They're going to negotiate it again at at the diplomatic capital of, of the Western world, that of Paris. And so we are. The war, the French, the American Revolution is going to end with the Treaty of Paris of 1783. Remember, the French and Indian War ends with the Paris. Sorry, the Treaty of Paris of 1763. So sometimes we need to be really, really specific in our dates when it comes to these types of treaties. Otherwise, you'll be talking about two different things if you get it wrong. Uh, but nonetheless, um, in September of 1783, the final details of the, of the, 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 the treaty is, are going to be published. And here's what's going to ha here's what it happens. Well, number one, of course, Britain, you lose. Uh, that's that's obvious. Uh, the United States is going to get every British territory within North America, with the exception of Canada. Canada is going to stay in the uh, with the British. Uh, the British, of course, are going to recognize the United States as a independent nation, and we're going to have U.S. borders set. Uh, the North is going. Going, you know, the the war is going to be the north board is going to be in Maine, which is what we would call Maine today, and then it's going to go all the way west to the Mississippi River. Spain's going to get Florida, and in fact, when they get Florida, they're going to control uh, the the Gulf of Mexico coast, and of course, the United States is going to get rights off fishing rights off the coast of Canada. But nonetheless, uh, this, this is the importance of the York of the Yorktown campaign. The fact that it basically convinces the British this war is lost; it's not worth it anymore. We need to, to conclude a peace uh, and face up to the fact that the United States is going to be an independent power. 